Hey guys, Zeleno here from playtoearn.net. For today's video, we'll be talking about 5 play to earn games that revolve around dungeons. The dungeon gameplay mechanic is something that has been part of a lot of games in the traditional scene, like Hades and Diablo, and has also found its way into blockchain gaming. So without further ado, here are 5 play to earn dungeon games. To start off our list, we have Mouse Hunt. Mouse Hunt is a multiplayer action dungeon game built on the Binance Smart Chain. In Mouse Hunt, players can collect NFTs, breed characters, build levels, play as heroes or villains, and farm tokens as a reward. The main game mode is played by two teams, the Mouse Heroes and the Ghost Team. The goal of the players part of the Mouse Heroes team is to get to the center of the castle and get the fragrant cheese of yore, while the goal of the Ghost Team is to kill all the Mouse Heroes that dare enter the castle. This mode of the game is called Castle Heist. There are two other modes. One is Dodgeball Arena Game. In this mode, you need to be the last mouse standing in a competitive arena. You can shoot flaming cannonballs as mouse heroes, and if you're quick enough, you can possess them midair as a ghost villain. And last is the Lock and Load Mode, which is Mouse Hunt's first mode with full play to earn capabilities. Build your squad of mouse heroes and send them into missions to farm the game's token MHT. The game has hundreds of characters to choose from, with each one having different abilities, depending on their outfits and weapon equipped. Different ability effects include boosting movement speed after getting damaged, or even sucking up all the ghosts in an area for a duration. Since the game is expandable to the blockchain, players have the option to convert their characters into NFTs, which can then be freely traded on the marketplace for tokens. As they use their mouse hero or ghost villain, players can level up their characters and their abilities as they play the game more. This can make them more valuable on the market. Their beta is live now if you want to check it out. You can go to their website for more details. The next game on our list is Catch King. Catch King is a collectathon dungeon RPG being built on Solana. In Catch King, you can complete your collection, fill out your museum, and display the collectibles you get from dungeon runs to gain status among other players. The main game loop in Catch King focuses on collecting loot within dungeons. Players will face trials, fight enemies, play minigames, and more. When you complete a dungeon, you earn collectible NFTs like fish, eggs, painting, and craftable materials. The loot you gather during your runs can be shown off to other players or brought to future dungeon runs to help you. Dungeons are procedurally generated to provide players with a dynamic experience. There can also be randomly placed hand-built rooms or special event rooms throughout, which can be puzzles, diving, mini-bosses, gambling, or other unique rooms. Each dungeon also has a season from spring to winter, and entering another one can cause the season to change. There are two types of dungeons in the game. First are Harvest Dungeons. In Harvest Dungeons, players can acquire more NFTs to add to their collection by playing minigames like fishing, digging, mining, and shaking trees. You can also get items to craft and improve skills like brewing potions and cooking. Minor enemies will also pop up in Harvest Dungeons to keep players alert. Exploration Dungeons will focus more on the combat side of the game. Combat will be the main goal, like tactical positioning, dodging, and creative problem solving. Enemies found here are harder than those in Harvest Dungeons. This dungeon is higher risk but also has higher rewards and stake for more experienced players. Other features of the game include a pet system, where players can hatch eggs to gain pets, take care of them, and put them in wagered battles with other players. Catch Coin is the main token of the game. It will be used for almost everything in game such as dungeon entrance fees, marketplace fees, hatching pets, enchanting equipment, and more. As of this recording, Catch Coin can be earned by sending Catch King Explorers, the game's main NFT, on timed expeditions. Catch King will be free to play up to a certain point if players don't want to interact with the blockchain using Catch Coin. Rewards here will be limited to non-NFT aspects of the game. The game is currently in beta. You can check their website for more details. If you're enjoying this list so far, you can check out our website at playtoearn.net. We have different categories you can search from so you can actually find what you're looking for. Now let's get back to the video. The next game on our list is Synergy Land. Synergy Land is a player and action RPG being built on Solana. In this game, players use their heroes to explore dungeons in different biomes, adopt pets to help them in-game, buy a private island, and even grow their own crops and craft materials. The main gameplay is the ARPG mode where you explore dungeons with your hero and find loot as you adventure and solve puzzles. Players will take on the role of different types of heroes which they can customize how they want. This includes using a fully dynamic spell system that you can synergize with your team. You can go solo or with a party of up to 4 people. This way you can party up with friends and synergize your abilities with them to make dungeon crawling easier. The dungeons in the game are randomly generated, so you'll never know what to expect on every run. The world also features four different biomes where enemies you face will vary and so will the strategies you use to beat them. There's also a pet system where players can breed and raise pets to help them in fights. There's also a stamina system in-game to limit the number of times a character can enter a dungeon. This helps limit and balance rewards to keep the economy healthy. And there are plans for PvP events that reward players for their skill. Other NFTs you can own in the game are pets, bosses, equipment, blueprints, and furniture. For those who want to play the private island part of the game. By playing the game, players can earn ACN, the main utility token. The game's pre-alpha demo is live right now, and they recently released a beta of their crafting station. For more info, you can check their website. The next game on our list is Wombat Dungeon Master. 
Wombat Dungeon Master is an adventure DeFi dungeon game being built on Wax and EOS. In Wombat Dungeon Master, players can send their cute wombats on perilous quests inside the dungeons for a chance to earn crypto rewards. In the game, players assume the role of a dungeon master, hiding treasures in the form of NFTs for their wombats to find. They will then send wombats to find it, with four different durations to choose from. When they come back, wombats return the hidden treasure along with the other things they may find underground. Directly after your run, you receive XP to level up and different materials, like uranium, iron, and coal. Once a day, you can open a treasure chest that may reward you with points, item packs, and other cool NFT loot. Technically speaking, players are staking their NFTs in the dungeons for rewards. Wombats have different stats like speed, max carriage, duration, and experience that can affect their loot gathering. Dungeon Masters can play alone or they can create and join clans. Clans are the first multiplayer mechanic in Dungeon Master, and it will become even more prominent in the future. To create a clan, a player needs a Make a Clan box. After opening the box, the players will receive 6 clan NFTs with the clan banner. One of these NFTs will be automatically staked for them as clan leader. The player is free to transfer or sell the other 5 membership NFTs to recruit new members. Players will need to stake their membership NFTs to activate their clan allegiance. Clan members can reduce the duration of other clan members' dungeon runs by helping them out. And the game also features sidekicks players can equip to boost their mining power. A few examples are Ego, Byron the Artist, Jonesy, Flid, and Dr. Crispy. The game operates in seasons, and the best miner at the end of each season is rewarded. It is currently in Season 6 until November 30th. And the last game on our list is Dash League. Dash League is a dungeon PvP MMORPG being built on Ethereum. In Dash League, players use their characters to raid dungeons, claim loot, create their own dungeons, claim shops in town, and earn tokens as rewards. The game revolves around raiding dungeons, either programmatically generated or player generated, to earn rewards after clearing it. The game is governed by a rune system that allows players to choose from thousands of unique dungeons to raid. The main characters players use in the game are the Dashers, which are NFCs players can buy on the secondary marketplace or mint on the game's website for 0.3 ETH per mint. Each rune has different attributes and will affect the dungeons in it, such as level, dungeon type, map type, loot drop rate, number of enemies, dominant element, and more. This ensures the variety of dungeons players can play in. Before players can portal to a dungeon, they have to pay a small token fee in DLC. Before players can portal to a dungeon, they have to pay a small token fee in DLC, the game's main token. If they beat the dungeon boss while it has no current owner, the players can claim the dungeon for themselves for a week. This allows them to collect all token fees earned by the dungeon for the next 7 days. Players can also customize dungeons they own by adding traps, monsters, props, or more. Fellow dashers review dungeons after playing in them, and owners can get rewarded up to 15% bonus tokens for building a great dungeon. The game will also offer rewards for players who play well and have high ranking in the game's ladder. They will have a reward multiplier system that scales with the NFTs used. There are also plans for PvP and League Wars according to the white paper, with more details to be released soon. For more info, you can check their website. And that's a wrap for today's list of games. If you're a fan of games that utilize the randomly generated dungeon mechanic, I hope this list helped you out. Which game on this list would you play? Let me know in the comments. And for more info on everything about blockchain games, check out our website at playtoearn.net, where we have the largest database of games that have all the info you need. That's it for today, see you next video.